हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सत्य गुप्ता इंटरनेशनल कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट सिम्स हॉस्पिटल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट हार्ट अटैक यू ऑल नो दैट हार्ट अटैक इज इंक्रीजिंग डे बाय डे इन अ यंग पॉपुलेशन एंड यस ऑफ कोर्स इट हैपेंस इन द ओल्डर आल्सो बट इन इंडिया वी आर सीइंग द यंग पॉपुलेशन इज गेटिंग मोर अफेक्टेड सो व्हाट आर द रीजन फॉर द हार्ट अटैक सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस what are the causes of heart attack how we can prevent the heart attack and if somebody gets the heart attack what are the symptoms and what the treatment we can do for that particular patients so first time going to tell you why it is more common in the young patients and what are the reason for the heart attack so most important risk factor for a young population is a smoking if anybody smokes he or she has more than 5 to 10 times risk of a heart attack so smoking is very dangerous and it causes a heart attack the second most important risk factor in the younger population is a stress stress is one of the like leading cause of hypertension in the current era because mostly our younger population is always stressed they have the like stress of work the stress of the deadlines and all this so whatever work you are doing if you have more stress you are more likely to have the heart attack the third group of risk factor where you don't have any control like uh, if your parents are uh, having the heart problem then you are more likely to have the heart attack uh, if you are a male person or gender uh, if you are a male then you have more chance of heart attack compared to a female and uh, if uh, you are genetically more prone for the heart disease so these things we cannot change but just yes, what we can change is uh, like smoking we can quit if the, we eat a fatty diet or fatty food uh, there is chances that our cholesterol will increase and that is a, one of the reason for heart attack having diabetes blood pressure uncontrolled diabetes uncontrolled blood pressure there is the another risk factor and the lack of exercise is and again one of the important risk factor so every young population should do exercise regularly so that they can prevent the development of the heart attack now if somebody is developing the heart attack how will recognize and why why we develop the heart heart attack first i am going to tell so let's see this is the our heart model the heart is a made up of a muscular it's a muscular organ and there you can see the small small vessels on the heart so these small vessels to whom we call the coronary arteries and these small vessels supplies the muscles of the heart whenever there is a blockage in these vessels the particular portion of the heart does not get the blood supply and that causes a pain so we call it as a heart attack the major blood vessel when it is involved the major area of heart will get damaged and ultimately what it will happen it the our heart will be weak and the pumping or contractility of the heart will be low and your heart will be weak and that will not be able to supply the complete blood or adequate blood to our organ all our, our body organ so you will feel weak and you will feel a breathing problem or dyspnea so this is the heart attack so symptoms whenever there is a blockage of the vessel we will feel heaviness or some kind of perspiration so perspiration along with chest pain is a very very important sign for a, for the heart attack so if anyone getting the sweating along with the chest pain we should take it very seriously and immediately doctor should be consulted along with this symptom you may feel a palpitation like very fast heart beat you may feel a breathing problem or dyspnea some people even can feel like a syncopal kind of thing or giddiness or some kind of a, a, like a weakness or fatigue so these are the symptoms if any time in the life we feel these kind of symptoms at least we should go and get our ecg done so heart attack can be identified by doing a ecg by some blood test blood test we check the some enzymes uh, that releases from the uh, myocardial damage or heart muscles damage like troponin t cpk mb these are the hormones which releases in the blood after the heart attack or we can get a echocardiography done what is the echocardiography echocardiography is kind of ultrasonography of the heart which will give you the contractility or what is the pumping or effective contraction of the heart or it will tell you whether your heart valves are okay 
whether a heart wall is okay and heart is beating properly or not. So basic information we will get by the echocardiography. Sometimes we do the TMT. TMT we do not do for a patient with a heart attack, but we do TMT to find out whether the particular chest pain is because of coronary artery disease or because of heart problem or not because of that. So those patients who complain of atypical kind of chest pain, we feel, doctor feel that it may not be the cardiac. So TMT we do for these kind of patients. The most important investigation for heart attack patients is the angiography. What we do in the angiography? We put a catheter across the artery and we inject the dye in the coronary artery and then we see which artery is blockage. So by angiography, it's a very simple and like a very technical procedure, but it's a really simple procedure. So after doing angiography, we can find out okay which particular artery is blocked and we can do treatment based on that. So now, how to do treatment of the heart attack? The treatment of heart attack depend upon the exactly what we are treating. First, the treatment of the symptoms, like some patients who came to hospital having severe pain. So first we give the treatment to reduce the pain or to reduce the anxiety of a particular patient. If oxygen level is low, we will start the oxygen. If blood pressure is down, we will immediately start the medicine, which brings up the blood pressure. The most important part of the treatment in the heart attack patients is giving the antiplatelet or the drug which reduces the blood clotting, like aspirin you must have heard. So what aspirin does, it, our platelet, the, that aggregating system that causes the clot, so this aspirin inhibits the platelet, that means it reduces the further development or further progression of the clot. So we give the aspirin to the patient, the newer antiplatelet, like clopidogrel or ticagrel, these are also available. So as soon as the patients come, we give aspirin, we give either ticagrelol or clopidogrel, and then we give the statins to reduce the immediate cholesterol level in the blood. So after stabilizing the patients, then we check the other parameters of the patients. Any patient is suitable after doing ECG, echocardiography, we confirm the, okay, this particular patient is having heart attack. And then we give medicine to the liquefy that particular clot which has caused the blockage of the artery. So the injection like streptokinase, urokinase, TNK, TPA, TPA, these are so many uh, medicines available in the market and based on the patient's requirement, we inject that particular injection. If we inject that blood thinning medicine within two hours, uh, definitely it causes a wonder. So we say all the heart attack patients, uh, time is muscle. The earlier you reach the hospital, your heart damage will be less. If you reach a hospital after two or three hours, your most of the like most of the myocardium will be already damaged. What we doctor do, we just try to salvage whatever myocardium has been left. So always it's better as soon as you develop the heart attack, please go and immediately get the checkup by the doctor and get admitted and immediately get your treatment starts. So now in the treatment of the myocardial infarction or heart attack, the most important treatment is a angioplasty. Once we have seen there is a complete blockage of the artery, in angioplasty, what we do, we put a wire across the vessel, we put a balloon, and then we open the vessel with the balloon and we put a stent. So the normal flow established. And as soon as the normal flow established, the patient's chest pain disappears. That is the wonder treatment for the heart attack, but earlier is always better. Once the patient gets angioplasty done, then his pain absolutely goes. And now the further treatment depends upon what are the risk factor patient is having? Like patients say, if the blood pressure is not under control, we control blood pressure with the medicine. If patient is having diabetes, we treat the diabetes. We give the certain medication to reduce the blood cholesterol so that patient don't get the further heart attack. We give medicine to control the, like beta blocker, to control the heart rate of the patient. So in case of like over exertion or like normal exertion, patient doesn't get a tachycardia or fast heart rate. We give some medicine like AC inhibitor, ARBs to remodel the heart properly. Means after the damage of the heart myocardial muscle, the now there will be repair of the myocardial muscles. So to help in the repairing, we give the AC inhibitor and the ARBs. To further develop a good repairing or good healing, we give the aldosterone and the antagonist. So like there are so many different medicines which act on a different level and help the patient to get recovery from the heart attack. Any patients with the heart attack, if they get treatment in the hospital, if they get the proper angioplasty, if they become all right, 
in within three or four days you discharge the patient and then the most important part is the prevention of the future development of the heart attack in that thing the proper medication is very very important after the heart attack after getting like treatment for the heart attack after angioplasty you should never stop medicine because all medicines whatever doctor is given is a different role different function and all medicines uh, functions are different so you should not stop any medicine without the like the, the uh, discussion with the, your uh, doctor so as i mentioned that we give the different kinds of medicine we call the patient for follow up after one month but here the counseling is very very important once the patient develop heart attack he should take proper rest he should not be over exact at least for one week and after one week depending upon his ejection fraction and the echocardiography pumping level if pumping is absolutely normal patient can do normal activity if pumping is little bit low or more low then you can ask your cardiologist what kind of activity you can do and you take all the like antiplatelet medication statin medicine ac inhibitor arbs aldosterone antagonist statins whatever we have written you take those medicine properly and go to a doctor for a regular checkup the important part, part here is a uh, reduce your stress reduce your work stress because more stress you will be more like a uh, uh, this uh, destructive hormone or like catabolic hormone will be releasing in your body and your heart will be even be faster and that will be deleterious for the heart so stress free life after myocardial infarction is very very important if your working is like very stressful you should try to change your working pattern or you try to overcome that stress the second most important is if you are a smoker then after myocardial infarction you should never smoke and you should take a proper healthy diet diet which is less in oil less in fried item less in a trans fatty acid more in polysaturated and the monosaturated fatty acid last but not the least after you recover from the myocardial infarction you should take regular exercise at least the recommended exercise level is 30 to 40 minute daily exercise whatever level you can do there is no like uh, advisable level at least those who are normal absolutely normal you can do moderate to intense level of activity but those who are their ejection fraction or the like heart pumping is not very good then they can do whatever level of exercise whichever their your body allows so but doing exercise is very very important and pro- taking a proper rest and sleep is again very very important so with this i have outlined the what is a heart attack what should be done once the somebody develop the heart attack what are the medicines we give when somebody develop the heart attack and what are the preventive measures somebody can take when he develop the heart attack so i hope that all my listeners they will be benefited with whatever whatever i have told you here and if you any question you can write in the comments i will be very happy to answer you and uh, take care of your heart because every year we celebrated the world heart day and world heart day is celebrated to remind you that your body part that is heart which is like this is very very important for you because once the heart stop beating your all body organ will be gone so to take care of your heart we celebrate it every year once in a year world heart day and this year we celebrated this world heart day with the theme of the digital health because digital now so many informations are available digitally so make use of this digital information but take use of a proper and authentic medical uh, recommendation and then take care of your heart be safe and be healthy thank you so much